How's your guys' morning? Everyone's here? All right, so this is going to be kind of quick and sweet, I feel like, but it's a word God gave to me a little while ago that <clears throat> is a bit of perspective. So how many of us have a favorite celebrity? Like, just off the top of your head, just kind of raise your hand. I'm sure everyone has their favorite celebrity. I know uh, I don't uh, I kind of do, but... Um, my girlfriend loves uh, Michael B. Jordan, and I know the Creed Three movie just came out again. So everyone has their favorite celebrity, right? That's what I'm trying to get to. <clears throat> so now we're going to take it back thousands of years, right? And back then, the big celebrity everyone talked about was Jesus. And he would, wherever he went, crowds just all of a sudden gathered. Like, even, obviously, there's no way to, like, plan on social media and make the event, like, like, blow it up out of proportion, you know, so it's, like, nowadays, if a celebrity, say, is coming to Tacoma, like, Morgan Wallen, for instance, he's going to come at the end of the year, they would blow it up on social media and get everybody excited where the crowd will just be huge, and back then, they didn't have that, and Jesus was the celebrity, so he would literally just be walking down the street, and all of a sudden, there'd still just be crowds the size of how they can make them today, just from seeing Jesus on the street, that's how big of a celebrity he was. And the difference with him as a celebrity compared to your favorite celebrity you're thinking of is he will look at you and think of you as a celebrity as well. Compared to our celebrities will look at us and they'll be like, wow, that's just another person. That, that, it's just another fan. It's not a big deal. They don't care about your life. They don't care about your characteristics. They don't care about your traits. They don't care about what you're going to do in your life. They don't care about what you're going to accomplish. You're not a celebrity compared to Jesus, who was the ultimate celebrity, and back then just had crowds drawing to him constantly, and everybody knew his name, even if they believed or not, everybody knew his name, he will turn around and look at you in the eyes, and he'll say, I care about you, I, I care about your plan, I have a plan for you, tell me more about yourself, what, what, what do you want to accomplish in your life, how can I help you with this, as a celebrity looking at you, because that is how important you are to him, so just... I have one scripture that kind of go along, goes along with this, and it's uh, 1 Peter 1, 2. God the Father knew you and chose you long ago, and his spirit has made you holy. As a result, you have obeyed him and have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. May God give you more and more grace and peace. That right there is saying you've been chosen from when you were even in your mother's womb, and you're a celebrity to him, and just wrapping your head around that is like, wow, like, you think about your favorite celebrity, and if they were to look at you and be like, ha wanting a relationship with you, and they're seeking a relationship with you, and it just kind of blows your head, and that's how Jesus is. So let's go out through the day and just, just keep that in mind.